In this section, we'll now take up the nephrons. Nephron is the structural and functional unit of excretion. So this is defined as structural and functional unit of excretion. And before we take up the detailed structure of nephrons, let us first talk about the types. Or let us first take the numbers and then we'll come to the types. Number of nephrons. One kidney approximately has one million nephrons. So one million per kidney. That is the number. Now coming to size. In general, the, uh, the nephron is about 3 centimeters long. That means if we completely stretch it, open it, then it is about 3 centimeters long. And now coming to the types. There are two types of nephrons. One, cortical nephrons. And second, juxtamedullary nephrons. And these names are given on the basis of their location as well as certain differences which they have. So we will draw these diagrams and then we will understand what exactly is the difference. So we would be drawing both the diagrams together so that it is easier for us to understand and compare. So this outer upper part is cortex and here we are talking of the medulla region. In case of cortical nephrons, and as uh, we know that uh, nephron has a cup-like structure which is known as Bowman's capsule, then there is proximal convoluted tubule, the loop of Henle, distal tubule, and they open into collecting ducts. So in case of cortic cortical nephrons, the Bowman's capsule is in the cortex, the proximal convoluted tubule, this is also in cortex. The loop of Henle is not very long and a little part of this loop comes into the medulla. The distal convoluted tubule, that means again this part, it is again in the cortex and they open into the collecting duct. So this is the collecting duct that we are talking of. So this opens into the collecting duct. So now what all do we see here? This upper cup like structure and this is the cortical nephron that we are talking of. Cortical nephron. So this part is Bowman's capsule. This is proximal convoluted tubule. This loop which we are talking of is the loop of Henle. This coil tube is known as distal convoluted tubule and this is the collecting duct. So what we see in a cortical nephron is the complete part of the nephron is in the cortex region. This is what is the cortex region that we have talked of. And this is what is the separation. So here we are talking of this cortex region. And the lower part that we have shown is the medullary part. So this part here is all medulla. This is cortical nephron. Now the next one that we are talking of is juxtamedullary nephron. In case of cortical nephron, most part was in the cortex region. A little part of the loop of Henle comes into the medulla. In case of juxtamedullary, the Bowman's capsule is close to the junction of cortex and medulla. The proximal convoluted tubule is also close to the junction 
and then there is a long loop of henle which is going deep into the medullary region it is going deep one it is long and second it goes deep into the medullary region this loop which we see loop of henle again coiled part that is distal convoluted tubule and it is going to open into the collecting duct so this is collecting duct so now this tube it opens into the collecting so let us label these parts and then we'll compare these structures the cup like structure which we see here is bowman's capsule the first coiled part it is proximal convoluted tubule this is the loop of henle this second last part which is like again coiled it is known as dct distal convoluted tubule which opens into the collecting so this is by looking at these two things we are able to identif identify or understand what difference they carry cortical nephrons most of the part is in the cortex very little part of the loop is in the medullary region whereas in case of juxta medullary the bowman's capsule pct and dct this much part it is close to the junction of cortex and medulla and the loop of henle is long and it goes deep into the medullary region so if we have to compare these two on the basis of their location plus some more structures cortical nephron we would write that main portion is in cortex in case here we will write bowman's capsule pct and dct at junction of cortex and medulla in this case main portion again we are talking of the same thing now the loop of henle the loop of henle mainly in cortex little bit in medulla mainly in cortex little bit portion of loop of henle is in medulla in this case we will write that complete loop is in medulla so this is the structural difference that we are talking of now the next important thing that we need to know which is not visible from here is the number in higher animals like birds and mammals cortical nephrons are maximum like in our case 80% are cortical nephrons and only 20% are juxta medullary nephrons so location wise mainly cortex this is a junction and mainly in medullary part that is the loop of henle now percentage wise also cortical nephrons are more in our case and only 20% one more very very important difference which exists here is that cortical nephrons do not have vasa recta do not have vasa recta or vasa recti vasa recti is a set of capillaries which we would be drawing later on but these capillaries are found around the loop of henle so in this case in cortical nephrons we don't have vasa recta or vasa recti whereas in case of juxta medullary nephrons vasa recti are present so we will draw the structure when we draw the detailed structure of the nephrons here we are trying to compare these two types so juxta medullary have vasa recti 
कॉर्टिकल डू नॉट है सो स्ट्रक्चर लोकेशन वाइज कॉर्टिकल मेनली इन कॉर्टेक्स लिटिल बिट पार्ट इन मेड्यूला इन केस ऑफ जक्स्टा मेड्यूलरी एट द जंक्शन एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट इज इन द मेड्यूलरी रीजन द सेकेंड डिफरेंस इज द लेंथ ऑफ लूप ऑफ हेनली इन कॉर्टिकल द लूप इज शॉर्टर इन लेंथ वेर एज इन जक्स्टा मेड्यूलर इट इज वेरी लॉन्ग परसेंटेज वाइज वी हैव अबाउट एटी परसेंट कॉर्टिकल नेफ्रॉन्स ओनली ट्वेंटी परसेंट जक्स्टा मेड्यूलर एंड थर्ड राधर फोर्थ पॉइंट विच वी हैव नॉट ड्रॉन हियर इज दे डू नॉट हैव वासर एक्टिव दैट इज अ नेटवर्क ऑफ कैपिलरीज विच इज फाउंड अराउंड दीज लूप सो कॉर्टिकल नेफ्रॉन्स डोंट हैव इट वेर एज जक्स्टा मेड्यूलरी हैव इट Now one more thing which we will write here is juxta medullary nephrons are found only in birds and mammals. So here we will write this that these are found in birds and mammals. We are talking about these juxta medullary nephrons. So here we have compared these two nephrons. Now in the next structure, we or sorry, in the next video, we'll talk about the complete structure of the nephron.